Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastures Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name's Leslie. If you're new here, welcome to our farm. Welcome to our kitchen. I've got my windows open. I'm going to have to turn on the attic fan here in a minute. It's getting nice and toasty in here. But we're picking up today where we left off yesterday, which happens to be at supper time. So let's get started. If you haven't subscribed, the intro is a great time to do so. I would love so much for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and be sure to give me a thumbs up. So stay tuned. You're going to get our day, whatever it holds, but we're starting with supper. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is So yes, I'm looking a hot mess today Because it's been um, helping, like being a gopher for Bryant on the farm Taking him a water, taking him this, that, and so forth and I've been studying. Uh, we have an Acts Bible study coming up on Sunday, um, Sunday night. So I've been studying for that. So I started making supper and I thought, hey, well, all my meat wasn't completely thawed out. So I had to like pause. And when I paused, I was like, hey, let's film this. So that's what we're doing. I've got here part of the ground beef. The rest is <laughs> sitting out on the porch where it's warm and um, uh, thawing out the, the rest of the way, but I have added a few chopped, I chopped up some onion and some green pepper and I added a little bit. I may have to add more once I get the other hamburger in here, but that's all I've done so far. So as soon as the burger, uh, finishes thawing out, I was just getting ahead of the game. I'm in no hurry. Uh, once it finishes thawing out, we will mix it and I'll finish make, mixing up this meatloaf. Um, so since I'm waiting, what I'm gonna do is uh, peel some potatoes because I always make stewed potatoes, which is just, I get asked all the time, what is stewed potatoes? We fix them just butter, water, salt, and boil them. Just boil potatoes with a lot, a lot, a lot of butter. Uh, you can add milk to them. We do not, we, don't, we prefer it without the milk, but you can definitely add milk to it. Um, so basically it's just boiled potatoes. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel potatoes while I'm waiting on the burger to thaw. Okay, everyone, so let's get you turned down here and I'll show you what I've got going on. Um, so only thing I have in here is burger and some onions and green peppers. Um, I am gonna add a little bit of salt, just a little bit, and a little bit of black pepper. Um, Someone gave me some duck eggs, and I haven't tried them yet. Um, that's something I've never tried, believe it or not. So, I'm actually, since I'm not sure, you know, is there a male duck <laughs> with them, and so I'm going to just check it in this cup before I put it in there. Oh, my goodness. Look at that yolk. Is that not beautiful? That white is so clear. And that yolk is so bright orange, it's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna break it up a little bit. It's larger, I would probably use, since I have enough burger in here, I could use two eggs. I thought that duck egg would be a, I'm just gonna smell it to be sure. I don't know why. <laughs> it looks perfect, so. All right, I'm going in here with the egg. And that's just gonna bind it together. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to do some mixing because I'm actually going to scoop me out a little bit to make me a low carb version. So, and whoever else eats here, whether it's just Bryant or Bryant Isaac, Bryant Caroline, um, I know Bryant will be here. I'm not sure who else is joining us tonight, if anybody. Um, so I want to get this incorporated. There's still some frozen pieces here. I'm trying to break up. Oh, I splattered that on my neck. 
All right, so I'm going to scoop me out a little bit into a bowl that will be mine separately. I'll bring you back once I get that done. Okay, guys, I have my bowl over here. We'll set it aside. I'll show you what I, in case you're interested in how I make a low-carb version. Um, I put in our normal meatloaf, our full carb meatloaf, I put some Zesta crackers just to, you know a couple of handfuls and I crush them up as best I can these didn't break up very good okay and what I also add as a binding is some oatmeal you can use any kind I'm using whatever I have if it's old-fashioned or quick or whatever just a little bit to to kind of hold it together All right, so now before I see if I need any more breading or breadcrumbs or crackers or whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our ketchup, which is my secret ingredient. I don't put tomato sauce, I don't put anything like that. I just put ketchup. And I'm gonna have to go back in with my hands, so I'm just wiping them off. And this is also the sauce I put on the top of my meatloaf. Okay, so we're going back in. That was probably plenty. I don't think I need any more. I am gonna put a few more oats in though. Just a little bit. That was, that was probably too much. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's just gonna make it good and hearty and hold it together. That's what it's for, it's to hold it together. And you can see it's starting to come together in a, so that's great. All right. So y'all, that is it to my meatloaf. Now I'll bake it like this, and then right before it's done, I will put a, a topping of ketchup on the top. So we're going to get this, look, it just came right out into a loaf. Get that into there. I'm going to wash my hands, and then I will come back and show you guys how I fix my low carb version in case any of you are interested in that. It doesn't hurt my feelings if you're not, and that's fine. Sometimes I'm really interested in low carb stuff and sometimes I'm not. So it depends on what time of year it is. It depends on my attitude and so forth. So, all right, so there is our meatloaf. It's gonna go in a 350 degree oven for approximately an hour. I will check it. Uh, I'll have to look up and see what the temperature is supposed to be. I can't remember right off the top of my head, but um, I'll check it and I'll bring you back um, when I get ready to put mine together. Okay, so the only difference I'm going to do with mine, because I've added the egg and divided mine out after I added the egg. So the only difference is I'm going to use no sugar, <laughs> no sugar added ketchup. And instead of crackers or oats, I'm going to use some pork, crushed up pork rinds. I order these offline and I love them. I bread my chicken tenders with these, um, salmon patties with these, and they go in my meatloaf. So this is just wonderful. So, okay. And since I've washed my hands a hundred times, I'm going to try to keep them halfway clean this time. And I have a little ramekin dish, like, um, you know, the little ramekins that you would do, like creme brulee or a lava cake or something in. I'm just going to cook my meatloaf in one of those. Now, I know that carnivore crisp... Um, now has like carnivore flour that's like um chicken flour beef flour and it's like dried dehydrated dried beef and chicken and they crumbled it up into a fine um powder 
flower like and so that may actually be a great alternative so okay it's it's holding together perfectly so all right guys i'm gonna get my little ramekin dish mine may have to go in too <clears throat> looks like i scooped out a little more than i had intended Anybody want to come eat low carb meatloaf with me? It looks like I'm going to have enough for two. <laughs> That's okay. Now, these probably won't cook as long as the other one. And I'm not greasing anything because there will be some fat in this meat. All right. Y'all, that is it. I mean, that's the only change I made to the meatloaf was I just changed the ketchup and the breading. And like, you don't have to have this special kind of, I just use so much, it makes it easy for me. But if you have a bag of pork rinds, just stick them in a Ziploc bag and crush them up. Um, that's the easy way to do it. All right, I'll see you when it's supper time. Okay, everybody, he's got his meatloaf and he's chunked it up, it looks like. <laughs> well, it, it fell apart. It fell apart. So, and I've got my two little ramekins, so go ahead and tell us what you think. All right, here we go. It's been a, it's been a long time since I fixed the meatloaf. Delicious. Delicious, all it's, right. It's been too long. Now let's try the low carb version. I know it's not going to be as good, but I'm pretty good. <laughs> That's actually really good. There's, There's Isaac. Isaac. <laughs> so you left out the crackers and the oatmeal, but mm -hmm. you leave out. I left out the crackers and the oatmeal. Yep. I use sugar free ketchup and I closer. use pork rinds as my breading. So, pretty good. They felt like they were a mile away. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. It's been, I'll, it's been a long week, hasn't it? It's been a long week. We've been spreading a lot of litter. We've spread over 40 loads of litter this week. And Crazy. this video is just beginning. So, there's going to be more to this video. But I wanted to start out sharing with you our supper for the night. And Just a good old country supper. Good old country supper. I did swipe me a couple of potatoes to um, try. No, no. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so we will see you in a little bit with whatever we do next. All right, guys, here we are. We're at Lowe's. We've been spreading chicken litter all day. We've got done. We've just had supper. We just had meatloaf. Finished up supper by 6 o'clock. Now we're doing some church stuff. We're, we're down to uh, some of the last 20% of stuff needs to be done at the new church rental house. We need to put down some baseboard molding before we put the floor down. We need about 170 feet of baseboard molding. We need about 60 feet of crown molding. So Miss Leslie and I are here getting the material. Tomorrow's going to rain. So me and Daniel will paint it tomorrow and get it ready to go up on Monday. So here we go with some baseboard molding. We got up this morning. I had planned on cleaning the house, but then had a surprise visit from two little boys. Not me. No. And so it kind of impeded my house cleaning. And so I just said, when you get home, let's go to Sam's. So that's where we are headed to now. Well, what did I do? Huh? What did I do? He went to the church and worked at the rental, the house that they're fixing up to rent. They saw that from the Lowe's thing. Yep. Yep, so um, that's where he went. And so now we are headed to Sam's. I just wanted to go to Sam's. I just wanted to go to Sam's. So that's where we're headed. On the way to Sam's, I got a little hungry. Can they see where we're at? Turn no, not yet. Turn the camera around. They can see it. Turn the camera around. We're going to get a steak for lunch. 
and just burger. nibble for supper. I'm gonna get a burger. He's gonna get a burger. So we're stopping for lunch on our way to Sam's. After a delicious lunch, I had a steak and a potato and a salad. Bryant went light and had a bowl of chili. 229 calories. Look at him go. Now we're headed into Sam's. What you got, Dad? Well, I was just looking at some pork loins down here. I was always like buying the big pork loins. Yeah, the great big long ones. Yeah. Yep. But you know, something I was thinking, you cook a lot of things. I wondered if you could help me out with this one. Beef tongue. Beef tongue. Beef tongue. What do you think? <laughs> I hear it's really good, I actually. Hear, I hear really good. <laughs> I'm scared to try it, though. <laughs> no, no, sure. Hey, how did you get to go past all those people? Because I have scan and go. You like that? Best thing ever. You like scan and go? Yes. How's Costco it needs it. Costco does need it. So it's, it's not terribly crowded. We've seen it worse, but uh, typical Friday afternoon. So. Well, guys, we're going to end the video here, but we're at Bryant's favorite place. We come to this place and drive through almost weekly, would you say? Almost weekly. Hang on. Do you see green and yellow? We are at the John Deere place. He comes through and rides through. Like I said, if not weekly, it's every other week. Once a month. Oh, good grief. I gotta see if they got any new, really? new equipment that I need. <laughs> oh, what's that thing up there? That's an interesting little thing. Um, so we are going to actually head home in just a little bit because we got the sweetest phone call while we were eating lunch today. It was the sweetest little phone call. I answered my phone. I said hello and this little voice came on and says, Bubbles, can I spend the night with you? And I was like, well, yeah. You don't even have to ask. And um, then his little brother got on the phone and says, can I spend the night with you? So we're actually going to go home. We picked up, we went to Sam's, but then we stopped by the grocery store and got them some just like Ritz crackers and spray teas and um, super fun things that they only get at Bubbles and um, some Oreos. And then, but we're going to um, pick them up a little later and carry them to old McDonald's. That's what they call McDonald's and let them play in the playground. So we're gonna have a wonderful evening with our grandbabies. And so, yeah, we're gonna go home and get this groceries put up. What I'll do is I'll share with you everything I got and I'll put that on Sunday's video. All right, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And the pastor. <laughs> and remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.